The Nigeria Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress have agreed to begin an indefinite strike on Tuesday. This followed the assault on the NLC President Joe Ajero in Imo State recently. Well, according to the leaderships of both unions, their decision is in line with the resolution reached at the last meeting of their National Executive Council. They're asking the federal government to dismiss the area commander that led the assault and uh, prosecute him. They also want anyone culpable in that incident to be prosecuted. So the two labor center has resolved to stand firmly by the decision of the joint neck that was held last week, Tuesday, that effective zero, zero, or zero, zero, one hours on the 14th of November, we shall declare a nationwide strike. So effective tomorrow or midnight today, a nationwide strike is going to um, commence. All affiliates of Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, all affiliates of uh, Nigeria Labor Congress, all state councils of the two centers have been mobilized adequately. Well, Emmanuel Ogwaja, General Secretary of the Nigeria Labour Congress, joins us now for more. Good to see you, Emmanuel, and thanks for your time. It looks to many as a, a selfish and weak union. Uh, this is something personal and not uh, anything that has to do with the country or the workers. Why is the labour unions not taking the path of seeking redress in court for something that has to do with uh, uh, an individual of your union? Thank you, my brother, and thank you for the uh, question or the inquiry. Uh, it's a clear indication that uh, people, whoever is thinking in that line, does not understand what the trade unions uh, mean and what we stand for. Uh, the president of NLC didn't go to Owe as a private citizen. He went to Owe as leader of the trade unions in Nigeria on a mission, a trade union action in furtherance of a National Executive Council meeting, joint meeting of the two labor centers, the LADEX actually in Africa, with a view to redressing, seeking redress for perceived wrongs, perceived anti-union, anti-worker stance and posturing of uh, the most state government. So a private citizen, Ajero, if uh, assaulted or if uh, a thought is uh, perpetrated on him, we go to court. But when you get involved in anti-union activity, when you get entangled in efforts to brutalize uh, union leaders for union activity, the response is a trade union action. The response will be a deepening of social dialogue to have that result. So we are not politicians that uh, people we challenge go to court, go to court. It's not about going to court. We, we should have a, 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 a culture of uh, social dialogue. And uh, as far as the world of work is concerned, it is uh, based on a tripod, the government, the employer, and the worker. And what the ILO, the oldest, agency of the United Nations uh, has deepened after the Second World War is to get people to discuss, to get people to have conversations, not to be beaten up, not to be dehumanized, not to be threatened, go to court, go to court. No, the, the attitude is to have people have a conversation around the table. And that's what we've been seeking with government, a, 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 a roundtable discussion, a dialogue as social partners, and not uh, bullying. What we are having is a, is a return to, to the SARS situation where people go about hooded, brutalizing citizens, and then you are told to go seek uh, redress in court. Right. That is not what our courts are meant for. Our courts are not supposed to be blanket cover for evil. Our courts are supposed to do what courts do. 
not uh, as a cover-up for executive uh, recklessness and evil done by state. No. That, that is what social dialogue is supposed to help redress. So for us, a government that is insensitive, a government that uh, tries to bully social partners by referring you to another arm of government to be suppressed, uh, then doesn't understand what uh, civil society is about, what uh, civil life is about. So for us, is to get the Nigerian state away from the brink, away from the right. brink of brutality, away from the brink of uh, dehumanization of its citizens, back to the role that a social uh, state has to, has to carry on. Mr. So that Roger. is the situation for us. It's not about a JRO right. as a private citizen, no. It's a JRO as president of NLC conducting a trade union activity. Mr. Ajero, uh, um, Obuaja, actually, uh, well, very well said. But speaking of the court, the industrial court had ruled that uh, the NLC TUC should not embark on any strike, that it would be unlawful if you go on strike. Uh, I mean, with your plan uh, to start midnight today with that indefinite strike, uh, does it not uh, breach the law? Is it not against uh, the directive of the court? Which directive? Uh, courts are supposed to be, you have case amongst parties. We're, we're, we're not aware that we're in court with anybody. Uh, if, if anybody takes us to court, we'll respond to them in court. Uh, all we're doing is trying to get this, uh, the federal government to respect the tripod system of social dialogue, to appreciate the need for discussion and not avoidance, to appreciate the need for safe work environment to appreciate the need that a worker is worthy of his wages for for over three and a half years workers in Imo state have been dehumanized they've been without salaries they've been called ghost workers and what we talk about where where why hasn't anybody uh, put the issue of the workers on the front burner we've been crying over this and people keep telling you when is the right time when is the right time we confronted the uh, Governor Hope was in 2021? When is the right time we confronted in 2022? When is the right time we confronted in 2023? When is the right time? When is the right time for the right thing to be done? Uh, uh, um, for us to continue in this uh, trajectory of violence. Uh, he, he had moved from violating the rights and brutalizing uh, workers to, to, to their leadership to our properties Mr. in Nemo, you, and now to the leader of the largest center in Africa. Absolutely, my, if, if I may butt in again, I mean, you did mention that, look, what happened happened in Imo State. Uh, Ajero was attacked in Imo State, and some would say it is only logical that you take up, uh, you know, take your case against the government of uh, Imo State and not make it a national issue. The government of Imo State does not have a state police except the talks they are carrying around. We have a federal police that supervises the brutalization of the president of uh, Nigerian Labor Congress. So we don't have, it wasn't the local vigilante, it, we, we, we have named names of federal police. So are we discussing jurisdiction here? It's a federal matter. When it was a local matter, we went to Imo State to resolve a local matter. But the Nigerian police made it a federal matter by the way they, 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 they maltreated and brutalized not just the NLC president, other workers were brutalized. The NLC president is just a symbol of what transpired. So, so clearly for us, all we have uh, requested was an independent investigation into what transpired. And we have received a, a very sickening, cold silence. And for Christ's sake, you don't expect us to turn into an NSAS uh, riot for you to hear the Nigerian workers. If you can't hear the Nigerian workers, if an organized group like the NLC, like the TUC, can be reduced to rubbles, the way the government has gone about this, then uh, you, you will then know that uh, our kids that were, were, that were turned to, 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 to dust in, in the toll gate of Lagos, uh, clearly had something to say. So for us, we, we turn the wheels, we turn the production of the country. So we are not going to sit back and allow people 
turn a civilized society to survival of the fittest, the brute. All right. No, <coughs> Mr. no. Bajan, we want, we you know, want we, justice. We, we have to be very careful here. Uh, so that I, Initially, I asked the question, I hope we're not dealing with a weak labor union, uh, because it will seem as if you're trying to incite people so that uh, this can actually fly. Uh, we, we must call a spade a spade. Uh, this, you mustn't visit the scenes of Imo or Nigeria. And if you say you've called names and you know these names, what is so hard for labor to actually institute legal actions against these people? Is that not part of what labor can do as a union? Uh, when, when you want the weak union you have talked about to institute an action, then you are, you are, the, the, strong state, the strong state you appreciate will go about brutalizing people. Then the weak union will, uh, will uh, institute action. It's laughable. The, the truth of the matter is criminality must be treated as criminality and is the function of government. It is not the function of the private citizen to go about redressing criminality. No. The civil aspect of it will be dealt with at the appropriate time. The trade union aspect of it, we are dealing with it. Right. So when you don't, don't understand very quickly, that, very quickly, let, that that weak union you are talking about is acting right. out its weakness. Don't you think uh, with a backlash, for example, you know, following the shutting down of the airports, that uh, there is a danger that the NLCTUC may just lose the sympathies of the Nigerian public? Are you, are you relying on the, you say they are looking for sympathy and you say they are losing it. I, are we looking for it or we are losing it? We are not interested in sympathy. We are interested in what is right. We are interested in redressing a wrong. It's not about sympathy. The man that was brutalized is a human being. If you don't have sympathy for a human being, well, maybe if you don't understand that there are consequences for brutalization of, 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 of a fellow human being, there are consequences for brutalization of a human being. When you criminally, when you criminally abduct a citizen, you don't need sympathy. You need justice. Right. Emmanuel Obuaja is the General Secretary of the Nigeria Labour Congress. Uh, like you heard, the NLCTUC have uh, declared from midnight uh, today, that's Tuesday actually, midnight Tuesday, to go on an indefinite strike. Thank you very much, Emmanuel Ubuaja, for joining us.